it is with great pleasure i would like to invite professor gonke president world federation of engineering organizations to give the first keynote address of the geobim 2020 conference professor gonke has been a member of the executive council of wfeo since 2009 He's also the executive director of the Chinese Institute for New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Strategies. Professor Gongke will present today Geobim for Resilient Infrastructure with a focus on the joint paper released by WFEO, WGIC, that is the World Geospatial Industry Council and the United Nations Global Geospatial Information Management. This paper was released at a side event of the UN High Level Political Forum in 2020. Uh, the floor is yours. I'm very pleased to be uh, part of this important event and uh, to deliver this speech on behalf of the joint team of WFU and uh, WGIC with the theme of geospatial technology for sustainable development. sustainable development with its 17 goals is a blueprint for building a future of sustainability of human kind and its environment however as pointed out by general secretary secretary general antonio guterres in his congratulation letter to the 50 years anniversary of wfeo every one of these goals requires solutions rooted in science technology and engineering last year to in order to accelerate the actions of delivering the sustainable development goals a new model for an integrated approach is proposed by the un gen uh, un Um, <clears throat> global sustainable development report uh, <clears throat> and uh, in this model there are four levers has uh, have been identified and uh, six entry points among the four levers science and technology is a very important one and the urban development is as one of the six entry points WFEO as the world's largest comprehensive engineering organization consisting of hundreds national member organizations all over the world has committed to assist achieving the SDGs early this year in uh, July uh, we have organized a side event at the high level political forum of united nation for sustainable development at this event a white paper on the value of integrated geospatial and building information modeling solutions to advance the united nations sustainable development goals with specific focus on resilient infrastructure was published This white paper is to demonstrate how the lever of science and engineering including geospatial technologies geospatial engineering and the big earth data can be used in urban and peri-urban development to accelerate sustainable development as you know the first man-made satellite was launched in 1957 since then the human space activities have been become more and more frequent a very important purpose of these human space activities is to observe the earth to obtain the informations on the earth in the past 25 years there were more than 1000 earth observation satellites were launched into its orbits on these basis geospatial technology has became a significant technology influential for the future development according to the survey in 
uh, last year by the ICT for Development. Geospatial technology is the fourth major sector that will have a significant impact in the future. 72% of the interviewees believe that will play an important role in all aspects of the development. Geospatial technology will support the development of multiple sectors and lay the foundations for large-scale impl implication of emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and big data. In order to promote the application of the geospatial technology to the urban development, WFEO and WGIC have worked together and released the white paper as shown here in my screen, which is downloadable uh, from the WFEO and WIC uh, website. And uh, this white paper is focused on resilient infrastructure. What is resilient infrastructure? Resilient infrastructure is the ability of an asset to resist, absorb, accommodate, and recover the disturbances caused by a hazard in a timely and efficient manner, and include the preservation and restoration of its essential basic structures. Why is infrastructure resiliency imperative? Because the nature, nature shocks and hazards causes the infrastructure destruction in a densely urban cluster will cost 18 million US dollars a year direct damage to power generation and transport infrastructure and 300 billion US dollars a year direct impact on household and firms and 90 billion US dollars a year direct impact on people and welfare of household. However, the investment to resilient infrastructure will bring a net benefit of 4.2 trillion US dollars. That is a benefit ratio of 4 to 1. GeoBeam solution is to combine uh, the building information uh, modeling related data that is a, a small scale or micro scale data uh, about planning, design, construction, operations and maintenance of a building with the large scale data, geospatial information gathered from, from orbit or from other uh, tools to maintain the structural integrity and physical a physical infrastructure in extreme situations to formulate protocols of actions and strategies for smart planning and smart construction to intelligently model aging and urban infrastructure to provide spatial and uh, three-dimensional context for better design and construction and uh, maximize long-term value to solve sustainability and resiliency issues. There are some case studies shown in this white paper. For example, a case dealing with city resilience from natural disaster is given in this white paper. By, uh, <coughs> in this case, the, the geospatial uh, geographical information system uh, is used to implement enterprise-wide GIS while putting a strong focus on standards and centralization to ensure no silos of the information exists so that the benefits has gained obtained by streaming lines uh, data collection processes that enables collaboration, communication, and analysis 
as well as map, monitor, and repair infrastructure damage and recover funds. Another example is uh, uh, about the Earth Creek recovery in Gorka, Nepal. This case shows a radical transform of how governments and uh, homeowners build earthquake resilient housing using technology innovations and reduce the economic and home losses. The technology used are uh, leader and uh, satellite-based remote sensing solutions combined with building information uh, modeling. And examples of uh, lowering climate change risks with machine control in Faroe Islands is also shown in, its, uh, in this uh, white paper. In this example, technologies such as GNSS-based machine control systems on a hybrid excavator uh, uh, combined with GIS, BIM, energy analysis software, and to grid and resilient infrastructure in extreme uh, environmental conditions. So uh, that uh, will help to save time, cost, and fuel a three-dimensional digital Turing model uh, with precise positioning and real-time monitoring. And uh, the, uh, a set of uh, several more uh, case studies is given in this uh, white paper. At the end of this uh, white paper, recommendations on governance and institutions on data innovations and standards, on partnership capacity building, and also on finance and investment are proposed to all stakeholders, including academia, engineering, industry, and government. <clears throat> Besides of this uh, white paper, a international project of big earth data for sustainability is also proposed with a goal of setting up an international science center for big earth data so as to building a high level big earth data infrastructure, developing a big earth data system to drive the discipline research and constructing an advanced platform for decision-making support. This uh, project is called Your Support. So I think I used uh, out my time. Uh, <clears throat> please allow me to end my speech uh, <clears throat> with this uh, 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 good wills to work with all of you together to leverage science and technology to accelerate the sustainable development goals. Thank you so much for your attention and uh, hope to work with you more closely in the near future. Thank you, Professor Kongke. Uh, it, it, it was entirely an uh, exciting presentation, having worked with you on the paper and uh, understanding uh, how uh, geospatial and BIM technologies together can be used for resilient infrastructure uh, and for sustainable development going forward. Uh, nothing more important than that, I guess. Uh, thank you for being here.